All right, get some measuring spoons. You're going to need a one half cup measuring cup, a one third cup measuring cup, some white sugar, a little extra sweetness. You can add some honey. I've got some raw wild honey. It turns out pretty good. Uh, you're going to need some vanilla extract. The yogurt we're using today as an experiment to see to start our cultures is a Thrive yogurt and some Thrive instant milk. I also use whole milk. I prefer the thicker yogurt it produces. Uh, it's just a personal, personal preference. It's going to be a two quart recipe today, so you're going to need two quart jars. You're going to need a soft sided cooler with some sort of a heating pad in there to keep it warm. Uh, very tactical multicam insulation is the only thing you should use. Uh, boiling water to sterilize your jars. Go ahead and add one half cup of the powdered milk per quart. So we're doing two for two quarts. One third cup sugar per quart. Now this is gonna be an experiment. I've always wondered if I can use the live cultures that are supposedly not destroyed by the freeze drying process from the Thrive yogurt. Unfortunately, all I have is the pomegranate and I'm not sure if it's gonna take the same amount of yogurt. So this is basically an experiment to see whether or not, one, the live cultures are uh, still kicking when you reconstitute them or not. Now you're gonna want a thermometer. The idea is to get it to 160 to basically pasteurize the milk. Ideally, the longer it can stay over 140 and below 160, the better. Here's kind of a look of the pomegranate yogurt kernels. Uh, you can reconstitute it, let it soak up some water while you're waiting for everything to come to temperature. Again, this is going to be an experiment to see how much it really needs and whether it even works or not. All right, it's on its way up about 157. This is where I turn off the heat because it'll continue to make it to 160. Uh, make sure to spill the milk everywhere. Doing this around the tripod was not easy. Go ahead and add a paper towel and then we need it to drop below 110. Between 100 and 110 is fine. Add your cultures. Again, I'm not sure how much I'm really gonna need of the Thrive stuff at this point. Kind of putting in the typical amount that I do. The jar behind it is going to be the old standard with just a plain yogurt that you buy from the grocery store. Go ahead and wrap it up in your ultra tactical multicam blanket and voila! Overnight. Here you go. This is the Thrive one. Now you can see it is a thicker consistency. There's definitely some uh, bacteria growth going on in there. It is thickening up the yogurt. However, I'm gonna have to play with the recipe to determine whether I need to add some more yogurt culture or leave it for more than the eight or nine hours to allow it to thicken more. Uh, the consistency was a little weird. You can see it kind of slops off the spoon. Um, I, it, as a texture guy, I didn't quite prefer it. This is what the whole milk produces, a very nice thick yogurt. Like I said, it's a personal preference, but I like a thicker yogurt because I am a texture guy. Um, I like adding things in my yogurt. So I, this is typical for a lunch that I would have. Um, I'm more of an egg for breakfast kind of guy. Uh, I have the grape nuts on my yogurt for texture, and then I generally add a little bit of fruit. You can see kind of behind that box is some dried pear dices that I'm using currently. And there you go. Uh, this recipe, I'll put a link up here. It's a Yankee Prepper's recipe. It's, I think, how I originally found Yankee Prepper years ago, uh, looking for a solution to make my own yogurt, just like he does. Add a little bit of sweetness if you want on the end. Honey's good for you. Thanks for watching, guys.